Halt! Citizens seeking an audience with the king are to wait in line outside the castle. We were told the king wished an audience with us. Is one of you Lady Mila? That's me. Very well. Please proceed. What's the holdup? I don't believe a doll is appropriate at a royal audience. I thought we might leave it here. You sure? It's okay. I'll hold that for you. Now, let us meet this king. What are you doing here? I am Zhao the Immovable. Of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad? Four warriors in personal service to the king. To think Zhao was a member all along. It is a great honor to meet you, former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Ah, and you are the Ebon Wing of Ajul, Wingle the Nova. You must be the King of Ajul. My name is Gaius, King of Ajul. Welcome, Maxwell. You have requested an audience with the King, have you not? Now please, state your business. Boosters made in your country have already fallen into Rashigal hands. If a war were to break out between your nations, then the results would be catastrophic for everyone. Oh. And you came all the way here just to tell me that in person? Uh... Yes, Your Highness. We're planning to destroy one of Rashigal's weapons, a really big one at that. Once that thing's gone, we know that Rashigal's king wouldn't dare declare war on you. In fact, we hope that you might, you know, help us? Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other matter we'd like to discuss. It is in regards to the booster laboratory within the Royal Hunting Grounds. Is it true you once abducted orphans for this facility, and then you performed experiments on these children? <laughs> well, I didn't see that one coming. What does any of this have to do with you, spirit? I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect both humans and spirits alike. Really? Spirits protecting humans? Now that is quite an interesting tale. You forsook your duty as king, and then you toyed with the lives of your own people, didn't you? The laboratory is entirely my responsibility. It was a haven for those children. They would have died without it. You imagine it as a mad scientist's lab, but I assure you the experiments were entirely humane. You expect us to take your word for this? But I... I was... This girl, she was that test subject? Yes, she was. Even in Hamil, Elise was forced to live in a tiny room. Don't you consider that... Cruel? Well, uh... Yes. Tell me something, boy. Have you ever considered what it takes to achieve happiness? To achieve happiness? Yes, to try and live a satisfying life. How do you think one can achieve that? Do you even know? Well... 
It takes freedom to make your own decisions and to form your own beliefs. Exactly. It takes freedom. <laughs> well, I disagree. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble until there is nothing left. What do you mean, nothing left? A man who cannot find his way becomes trapped. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks into uncertainty. Uh. True happiness comes from following a noble path across an entire lifetime without getting lost. My country does not produce failures. It is the king's duty to show his people the proper path. I must keep them from becoming completely trapped. Now, let me tell you in no uncertain terms why I've called you here. Maxwell, I know you stole the key from the laboratory in Rashagal. Now hand it over immediately. No, I won't. The key was not meant for human hands. When faced with the power that can destroy the entire world, no human can control him or herself. It seems as though you haven't heard a thing that I just said, Spirit. Something about royal guidance and noble paths. I've heard it before. You humans never change. I've watched you for 2,000 years. All right. Then why don't you just tell us where the key is? What? Alvin! What are... What are you doing? But you can't! Alvin. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing my job. Alvin, who did Maxwell entrust the key to? The Handmaid Ivor. He's probably sulking back in Neocara as we speak. Al, what are you doing here? Hey, Pressa. Long time no see. Pressa, what is it? Ignore them. Give your report. The Rashigal army has invaded Hamil. What did you say? I'm afraid the casualties are high. Those not killed were captured. They were then sent to Rashigal. We also found evidence that the power of a great spirit was used upon the village. A great spirit? But no one has successfully summoned the four great spirits for two decades. Impossible. I would have known if the four great spirits had been released. Could it be? The Lance of Kresnik? Is it possible that Nautical has made a new key? If that's the case, then we're declaring war. Send word to all the clans. I am going to crush anyone who dares to harm my people! Well then, we will no longer have any need for the likes of you. But if His Highness were to have the Spirit Maxwell as his captive, even the unruly clans would be forced to bend their knees. <sighs> Miss Elise. Capture Maxwell. Recover the test subject. Mission accomplished! You knew that we'd have to escape, so that's why you left Tipo with the guard. Yes, I knew that it would end up being Mila who treated with King Gaius. <laughs> and when Mila fully expresses herself, well, I figured something would happen. <laughs> I see why you were cautious. Yep, 
Just as predicted. Oh, I know what that's called. That means Mila's a troublemaker. Hmm. Yo, Mila! Did you hear the whole thing? I can't deny the truth of your words, but there is one thing I'd like to add. By that definition, wouldn't Tipo be a troublemaker as well? well I guess that's... that's... What? You're not gonna defend me? was a big fat liar. I assumed he had his reasons, but this time he took it too far. Stupid traitor, let me at him! Why would he betray us like that? I'm afraid even I can't read his mind. How could he do this to us? He better not show his face around us again. Reactivate the five control stones, we may be able to unlock the gate. Pour your mana into the stones until they glow red. Just like at Fort Candala. The gate will not unlock, however, unless we all activate the stones at roughly the same time. Wait, I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry. Just use your mana as you would when casting an art. There's no time. We've only one chance. Let us begin. Finished too. Same here. I did it. Come on, come on. I'm so sick of holding everyone back. Why? Why can't I do it? Mila! Leia, relax. I'm not good enough for this. Quit thinking you're inferior to anyone here. Thanks. You can do this. Let's continue. Okay. Ha! Yes! Hurry up, you two! me behind at a party. Presa, was it? If you've been Gaius's henchwoman all along, then you've been after us ever since we escaped Fenmont. Al sold you out to His Highness way back in Nia Kara. He was on your side the whole time. <laughs> Hardly. That man's no ally. Huh? <laughs> I'll leave our relationship to your imagination. All I'll say is this, Al drifts from one group to the next like a ship without a compass. Trying to plot his course is impossible. Serves you right for trusting him. It's obvious that the Lance of Kresnik is the greatest threat if war breaks out. Surely Maxwell realizes this. Your territorial squabbles are of no interest to me. My only concern is keeping that thing out of human hands and preventing a miserable end for us all. So high and mighty, it's time someone broke your arrogance. Enough! You didn't become a veteran of countless battles through meaningless bloodshed. Has your youth gotten the better of you? 
Don't lecture me on age, Ilbert. Your ways are old. Therefore, you falter. And then you flee. What? What just happened? A sudden burst of mana. He has a booster. Why? Who are you? Ilyas, Saibon Punyukiaida, Tiyote Sevon Priyande. What? Is that Long Dao? Suohun Susu Maxwell. Wizun Kijuodo. What now? Still wanna play, do you? Wait! Don't try to stop me. No, look! I suppose our time is up. Running away again, Hilbert? It's because you ran last time that King Noctigal ended up the way he did. <laughs> attacked? I'm surprised that you would care. The people of that village treated you horribly. It's true that we were bullied a lot. But there was a man who gave us fruit, and a woman who put a blanket over me so I wouldn't get cold. They didn't deserve to have horrible things happen to them. I see. And having a great spirit running wild would be so scary. It was the Rashigal army that attacked, right? Why would they do that? I don't know. It seems we'll have to head to Rashigal to find out. And more importantly, to ensure the tragedy of Hamil is not repeated. Yes.